And now your WZDX Pinpoint Weather with meteorologist Emily Owen. It was a spring-like day all across the Tennessee Valley. High temperatures today topped out in the mid to lower 70s. Let's go ahead and jump out to our current temperatures because we are still pretty mild out there. We're sitting at 66 right now in Huntsville, 67 in Florence, 66 in Scottsboro, and 65 degrees in Coleman. We did see a few passing showers earlier this afternoon, but most of us are continuing to remain dry thanks to that warm front that is sitting on the Alabama-Tennessee state line, keeping all of that rain to our north. And it looks like it's going to remain that way throughout the overnight. But we could see a few passing showers here or there. Otherwise, we'll just continue to see a mostly cloudy sky. Low temperatures will be falling into the lower 60s. Now, for tomorrow, we'll have a high temperature once again in the mid. Some of us could hit the upper 70s for the day tomorrow. And we'll continue to see rain starting early tomorrow morning and lasting throughout the day pretty much and uh, we're going to see scattered showers and thunderstorms heading into the evening hour tomorrow now we do have a marginal risk to see a few strong thunderstorms heading into the evening tomorrow, but it does look like our main threat is just going to be flooding and we could see a gusty wind. Speaking of flooding, areas shaded in the lime green color are under a flood warning until Monday morning. This includes Marshall County, Madison, and Jackson counties. Now, let's go ahead and time out the rain. So this is right around midnight, still continuing to sit under a cloudy sky. Once we get into uh, the lunchtime hour tomorrow, that's when we're going to see some scattered showers start to build in ahead of the cold front that's going to be headed in our direction tomorrow evening. And that's when we're going to see a widespread rainfall and a few thunderstorms move through late tomorrow night, early Monday morning. We'll continue to see rain throughout the day on Monday and even into Tuesday as well once we have a low pressure system that's going to move through Tuesday night. But after Tuesday, high pressure system takes over and it looks like we're going to start to dry out. Now here's our rain accumulation. This is until Wednesday right around midnight. Notice areas off to our south like Coleman sink two and a half inches of rainfall. Rain chances for the next seven days. I've got a 60% for tomorrow and 80% for Monday a 70% for Tuesday, and then it does look like things will start to quieten down once we head towards the end of next week. Seven-day forecast looks like this, 75 for the high temperature tomorrow, widespread rain and a few thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon into the evening. Temperatures will start to back off into the upper 50s once we get into Monday and Tuesday, and then it looks like we'll heat back up into the lower 60s heading into the end of next week.